maps we have for you today. Our Blood Run is our first map, Corrupted Keep is our second, and Veil of Peanuts, or Nath, uh, is our final yes. map if we do need it. And we have Visor Galena Doom for Garpy already. Let's see, uh, because Venga wants to add to the picture. He could do something extraordinary like Sawlag or something, but oh my oh, god, come on. It's, it's arrived. Come on. <laughs> The clutch is here. It is Venga that uh, picked this map. Uh, even though he wouldn't normally pick it, it, it is a weak spot for Garpy generally. It's um, he's definitely stronger. All, all the other maps in the pool, uh, and Venga's opted to try and strike on Garpy's weakness. Venga, I have called him a clutch-only noob in the past, more in a sort of joking fashion. But he was he was really really good with clutch and uh, there is some viability still left in him. I'm wondering, wondering how this is gonna go down, Jason. I'm almost more scared. Three, two. Well, <clears throat> I see. I'm I'm actually really curious because I think Quake Chef is getting to the point where you can have these like niche last picks like a clutch if there's no BJ in the enemy team or. Or, I, I mean, that's just I guess, the only example I can think of off the top of my head. Um, but you can throw in these like crazy picks as a, last, uh, as a last champion choice when the other person doesn't run something that can counter you directly. And I think once we get to that point where the balancing um, progresses even further and maybe some new champions are being added in, that that you know, first pick versus second pick has become a huge factor uh, you know, for players of saying, well, do I want to pick first or do I want to pick last? Oh, Garpy pushes in. Great timing for Venga to go in there with the LG. It's done good damage, but has to wave goodbye uh, to the Mega Health. Uh, he has got the intel at the moment with Piercing Sight, and I'd, I'd like to see if he can get that Grail Gun pretty soon. And he drops down for it immediately. I don't know if you have any, any thoughts on that, by the way, about, like, yeah, uh, you know, I, potential I actually do. and stuff like that. And... I, I've got thoughts on the dual system. I think that the third pick can end up being quite a wild card pick. That's where you could add some spice to uh, the mix to try and throw off your opponent. Going full meta only champions, I think um, it, it's almost like you go through some kind of formula sometimes to see, okay, how how could the game go? Trying to uh, spin a curveball into it could, could be good. Good little shot real shot and make off the side. I'm actually curious, because uh, remember we talked about clutch is like a good, was it second pick? A good first, or a good second and third pick, but not a good first pick. If I'm not mistaken, was that, that's what we were saying, right? Was it first, was yeah, it second, second, third, or was second it pick first pick? Second pick, yeah, optimally, or last, um, I'd say. So I, I don't really expect I to see Vanger Vanger second. Them. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, like, he's been playing a lot of Doom, right? And playing a, he played a lot of clutch before that. Is and now he's playing a lot of Galena, if I'm not mistaken, what you said with him and Inns. So if he like adds mm -hmm. Galena, he's playing like his three strongest champions in the game in twos now in duels. But the visor is just he's too much of a must pick. Rail. Zoom rail will kill him. He just wants to block uh, the shot of there. Garpy's got the piercing sight. Oh my god. It's a terrifying tribal comes out, but Venga picks that moment to dodge away. That was a good decision from him, but He's in a very, very weak spot right now. Garpy's uh, got him wrapped around his little finger, so to speak. It's in sight. Used by Vanga there, just not able to connect a shot. Okay, Mega. Three second window between the two. Garpy comes around the corner, dodging away from the tribal. It's a nice little real connection. Banker can't really afford to contest heavy anymore. And Garp, instead of going for heavy, he wants to go for the fight and he gets the kill. That should allow him to pick up heavy and mega. And now Venger clutches out. Here we go. Clutch is typically a strong pick as well against uh, Visor. As long as Venger can make sure he's got the important weapons, that is going to be uh, the likes of the rocket. Even shotguns, good for that. Um, ideally, have uh, a rail too. You can see, he's got rockets, but he's not going to go straight into using the shield now. But there he is, though. He's found him with one rocket. He's going to chase him down for this one, surely. Machine gun. Oh, my God. He couldn't take him down with the machine gun. He thought he knew that he was low, but he couldn't just fire enough shots. The punch comes out. 
There's been some health taken, but Vengo will eventually get rid of that visor. Okay, I might have missed a patch note, but can you still use the mining drill after you use the shield for a long uh, time? Yes. This is bad. Oh, I was expecting locks the mining drill. That can hurt. I was expecting to switch actually, the mining drill and, and kill him. That's actually a really, really good point. I don't know. I think that was a, a bit of a fluff then. Because he, he made a great play to get it to that point, but there was no close on it. And he had nine health left, so like that would have been one tick for the mind drill. Oh, the combo hit Wait. from Van Gogh. Wait, is it five or nine? I, I'm sorry, I don't really play clutch, so I, I kind of forgot the damage value. So five or nine for the mind drill. Five. Okay, so it would have been two ticks, but still, it ticks so quick. Wait, now I'm now I'm losing my mind. Yeah, I can't remember if it's five or nine. But it's got a very rapid uh, rate of fire, is uh, what I remember. I think I think they did um, uh, bring up the, the damage for it. Okay, it has to be five. It's seven now, apparently. Okay, we got this, guys. Professionals here. Garpy. Looking for a rail, does manage to deliver it after the heavy's taken, so the stack takes a little bit more of a slap than it otherwise would have. Chris's sight back up for Venger. He's actually going to use it off the bat when it comes off. It's really down in stacks. And look at Garpy just walking around that corner. He hears the rocket being shot and immediately backs off. Just how important sound really is for the players, especially in the advisory advisor battles. I think it's giving up a lot of free damage at the moment. He's allowing Garpy there. Too many oh. rails. He just jumps up with a rocket. That was nicely done from Garpy. But we've got heavy. Well, that's been enough to scare Vengor off. He might be able to continue some control a bit. Further damage that was actually to the Italian. A good uh, fight force out of Garpy. But if Vengor didn't hit Whoa. that rail to knock him off of that position, because Garpy would have successfully gotten to the high ground, that would have been a kill for Garpy if Vengor didn't hit the rail to push him away. So it was a really good initiation by Garpy, but a really good disengage by Venger there. Venger, I don't know how he survived over in the hourglass room. That is astonishing. Either way, jaffy has got the piercing sight out now. Kind of lets him know that, like, I know where you are. Venger is, is still on 30 health. There we go. He finds the two 25 health levels. They've respawned for him. I think he'll find the other 25 and the 25 armor. And at least he can uh, survive through to his piercing side. He's gonna, he's gonna have to play this round slowly. I expect Venger to is gonna try and avoid action for a, a bit longer. He says as Venger starts attacking. Garpy really wants to contest the heavy. It's a nice little rail. I was actually hoping for an LG there instead of the rail. Just so you can juggle him a little bit more and get more damage in the long run. But gets damage nonetheless. And a relatively slow pace. I mean, it's even though it's been slow, it's been action-packed. There's been a lot of damage traded between the two. Yeah, there's been almost 1,200 damage exchanged between both players. Uh, both players have landed three rails, getting 75%, 60% respectively. We're getting 40% LG from Garpy. A lot's been going on. He hits a good rail, but Venga is the one who gets himself onto the heavy. Venga now looking for a chance. Oh, he just goes for the rail. Dangerous move, but it pays off for him. And now he's got an advantage in round two. That, that timing was so crucial too. I don't think Venga knew it, but Garpy was like one second away from his piercing sight being up, which would have allowed him to almost certainly win that one-on-one -on -one battle around the pillar. Exactly knowing when he's gonna come around a corner. That nail gun oh. doing some work here. Garpy might regret this. The Vanguard on five health. Garpy. Oh my god. He still has the he still has the fisty cuffs out. What? what? Vanguard? Vanguard? You just have to aim. There was no well, third of you not even shot. aim. Just get out of there. It's a hard target to hit with the sort of full 550 UPS running around. He should have left that situation and just accepted that he couldn't quite finish the kill with nail gun. I wonder if he had LG. I, I didn't see what other weapons he had. No, he would just nail and rocket. Or nail and rail, if I'm not mistaken. That's just so unfortunate. Yeah, now it's going to be the Doom Beast. Again, the uh -oh. nail's coming in, but Garpy dodges a little bit. Just charges straight forward. Almost into another round victory. It's all left on the clutch out of Vanguard with 30 seconds. 
And this is Clutch's prime time, like with not a lot of time left. And with only needing to get what, one frag, but the problem is the shield's been changed. Garpy's playing quiet and slow. And here's the shield. Here's the big uh, last push coming through. He's already late for him. He goes for one punch. A good rocket from Venga. But Garpy, he's going to close out that kill. Just a few seconds were left in the round anyway. And you can't blame Venga for, for forcing the push at the end. He had, he had absolutely no choice. Just just perfectly um, countered by, uh, three, by the Brit. Two. I didn't even know why Garpy just didn't Round keep running. Three. He just really wanted the kill. Wanted to mind game him a little bit. Whoa, Again, we've got Clutch coming out this time starting right away. Exactly. Oh, how much damage Actually, did that do? That to be fair, like 60, 70? when we mentioned like the, the Clutch second or third thing, that was typically in, in conjunction with being against another Clutch. Because you don't want to like start with Clutch and then not get the kill and then die and then get screwed. But when it's just when it's just one clutch, I guess it's a little bit different than when you can't start or use it second or third. Oh, that's a, I think that's a bit real that Garpy might regret it. Good rocket jump away though. I actually like that. Yeah, that was nicely done. Venga's kind of forced to pick up some of the scraps on the map. The uh, hourglasses, most there. notably. And. Uh, He's going to settle his way down to the sort of mega area, he says. He's all over the place. You ever had Hot Wheels when you were younger? That's kind of what I imagined. I, I never had I them. I was, I, was, I was really jealous of my friends that did have them. It was quite... Did you have, like, the generic hot brand moment. of them? Yeah, yeah. Like, Hot Tire or something? <laughs> I don't know what they're called. <laughs> But he's got the shield back. Oh. And that oh, rail does stop a... Uh-oh. This is actually again. bad because it's harder <laughs> for Garpy to run away in this situation. He's going to find the LG through the shield, which is down for a long time between shots now. And Venger, this clutch pick, has not been fruitful on any level. He does get Visor now, at least for him. But he's got to fight his way into control and get a frag um, within the next three minutes. Yeah, double piercing sight's coming out from both players. It's kind of funny, whenever it's double piercing sight, both players just like basically stop moving. They don't even bother to like go somewhere to get like a different weapon or anything like that. Pushing towards heavy, actually the pushing towards the hourglass room does force Venger back and does net Garpy. The heavy oh and the mega, God. not before taking a 100 damage rocket, but the problem is the rail's gonna be there. Venger doesn't have the rail just yet. Can't fight long range. Brilliant timing though on his his rocket from Garpy's chasing. Getting that extra hundred damage does mean that Garpy can't like force around ramp and control as much as he otherwise would. Venga's dropped down to do some damage, but the LG from Garpy is good. He's looking to 3-0 Venga. Unless Venga can do crazy things with Doom right now, the triple punch! He just charges him and says, deal with this. Please. And Garpy's going to do the same thing uh -oh. back to him, but this time he wants to run away. He hasn't got the health anymore. Now he's going to go down. Garpy, the nail gun? Not enough. What the hell has just happened? Well, I mean, that's the perfect phrase to use when we saw Double Doom. Oh, LG. And the rail. Banger. He's got a little life left in him. Not gonna go down, looks like 3 0 in this map. Well, potentially. He does have a decent stack back in with Omega. And you can see Garpy just trying to run away for his dear life. He has no health to work with. Looking for him, he does have a totem. Does get a couple of health bubbles. But his finger is just, just all over. It's preventing oh him God. to have any sort of freedom. He can't. Can he go through the teleporter? I can't remember if he checked if there was totems there or not. It's like he's. Oh. That on that, there's armor in front of him, but he's just had to wave goodbye to heavy and to mega. And the reason because of that is because he pushed a little bit too far in this rocket room when he wanted to go with that LG fight here. He's paying the, the price for that. Good time to get rid of some totems, though. Uh oh, he's locked into a corner. LG's come out, 31 health left. 
Luckily for him, he knocks Garpy off the high ground, but he can't go for heavy. He doesn't have the help to do that. You see Garpy sticking around, which allows him to pick up Mega in the meantime, and he can even rocket jump up here. Or just go through the teleporter to be a little bit safer. 42 health, though. Left for Venger still sticking around. I mean, considering sudden death right around the corner. That's one frag anyways. Venger's really holding tight in the stairwell. He's finding some help. Garpy's making it expensive every time he wants to heal up. And this is a, a good time for Venga to really showcase how well he can play defensively. When he's uh, oh, clearly out of control. Garpy goes through the teleporter. There's a lot of LG damage all of a sudden. It's not going to be the feel end all, but he gets himself onto the heavy armor. That is big, big uh, play for Venga. Even though Garpy did take a lot of lightning damage off of that teleport, he saw his own totem that he ran into for full HP yet again. 30 seconds into sudden death here. So far, Venger's oh, been able to get away from armor, but... Oh, it's two of them. I think, he, I think he just killed two. Like, a lot of totems are disappearing. There's one more at the bottom as well that he hasn't gotten rid of. Venger's going to maintain control of this LG. Now attack from Garpy. Venger wanted to stand his ground a little bit. But it was a much nicer angle from Garpy. You can just see the, the kind of pressure that's on Venger's shoulders. Not necessarily second guessing these engagements, but he's definitely hitting the eject button. As soon as he feels uncomfortable with the with the fight, you can see right here he's gonna back away. Whoa. He just said he, he doesn't know if there's a totem through the teleporter, so he can't go through it. Garpy is going forward a little bit with the LG, but the rockets, that was the time to hit Van Gogh. But Garpy with the rail in return locks down map number one. Three to oh. Valiant effort from Van Gogh trying to get those combos at the end, but Garpy with just such a great entry to the fight. Well, to be fair, you also did say earlier on in Venger's last match against uh, Neutrino that Blood Run is one of his weakest maps. Hmm. It was a weird pick so. for Venger because he also knows that Blood Run is one of Garpy's worst maps. So he's kind of playing like, well, I think it's a worse map for you than it is for me, which I think is generally fair. But Garpy's got this strange thing that when it gets to like a, a high pressure tournament, or moment and he kind of it's like it almost becomes the reverse and it becomes his best it's just it's just a bizarre weird oxymoron of sorts i don't know well we are going um, on to crypto keep next I'll explain so this we've seen raise use bj against garpy would garpy potentially use bj here as well on crypto keep because i don't know if venger plays i do plays another, uh... um I wouldn't be prepared to say, really, because if Garpy hasn't been playing BJ before, I don't think he'll suddenly bring it out now unless he's really, really confident. And likewise for Wenger, I'm not sure he would go with BJ as a as a serious pick. Yeah, I might be more. I'd, it's more likely Wenger is good to do it though than uh, uh, than Garpy. Um, we are going to go into the champion pickups right now, though, and uh, we can find out just how wrong I really am. Or right. So it's potential. Or right. Keep in mind, Garpy yeah. did beat Razia on Crypto Keep earlier, 3 1. And Venger did beat yes. Neutrino, 3 1 on Crypto Keep. So both of them already have a victory under their belts when it comes to this map from their earlier matches. Ooh. And a BJ for Venger. All right. I was like half right then, right? I'll take that. Uh, this is a. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'll take I'll take what I can, okay? Okay. I'll, I feel I feel brilliant taking credit, um, but I'm I'm very interested to see how this is going to pan out now because I mean Venga again is he's he's got all the pressure, the weight of the world on his shoulders. Uh, he's got to come out of the goods right now because otherwise Garpy's going to be uh, getting rid of another very strong opponent in the tournament to make his way to the finals. It's begun, guys. Map two in the semis. I'm on Vengur to start with because he's got BJ. Hello. Oh, no. He's going to get rocketed. Garpy annihilates. I think you forgot. 
I think he forgot he was against a visor who saw him coming around the corner and just preemptively rocketed him. That's not yeah. a good start for Venger at all. I really hope he doesn't get his own head from that. Wow, and Garpy's LG is just destroying things right now. He's hitting 55% at the moment. He's hurting. Uh oh, Venger still only has LG, doesn't have rockets. Garpy's just controlling this map and Garpy's gonna push back in. LG is just shredding through him. Venger's finally gonna get the kill. Just get himself up to 49% LG from that. But he has no health to work with here. Garpy, just, all he needs is a machine gun. Just one more bullet, one more pellet would have finished Venger off. And he still might go down from this. Okay, no. Well, the Berserk being popped is a different story. Oh, they're gonna fist it Oh, Garpy! Why, Venger? Why? Why? Why did he do that? Didn't he have... I don't know if he could have one shot Garpy just then. I don't... I don't... He had weapons. And he heard... He heard Garpy use the Berserk. Three, two, but you just wow. had to back... I think hey, he was trying to maybe two, time no, it so that no. when he, when he went in for the hit... No, no, no. But, no, he, he was trying to time it so that when he went in, his Berserk would have ended. Oh my god, Garpy, these rockets! They are just simply stunning from him. And Venger's got nothing to answer with right now. I'm giving credit to Venger for like manning up. He heard Garpy pop the Berserk and it was kind of like a, come on, what do you got? What do you got, son? We're both low HP. One punch to rule it all. And he, and he took that fight. He lost it, but he took it like a man. That's true. It was a a champ move. Well, kinda. <laughs> I'll go with I'll go with kinda as my final answer. Uh Evenga manages to get himself onto LG. There's no totem there for him to be worried about. Going in, good rocket damage. Totem's gone. LG surely able to get the kill. That's a great weapon switch from him as well. And now he's got an advantage and he can hopefully for his sake simmer down this kind of craziness that's been going on in Corrupted Keep. It should just be renamed to Crazy Keep instead of Corrupted Keep, instead of just CK. So the C actually stands for. We've seen BJs, we've seen some really weird plays out of out of a lot of players today so far. Finally though, it looks uh, like we're having some sort of semblance of a passive and slower game. I kind of missed the chaos already. Let's bring it back. Come on guys. <laughs> oh, Garpy, get stuck oh, there. That oh, LG is so painful. Ouch, how much? Oh, I don't know if I caught the accuracy right at the end there, but that felt like he was just hitting 60 plus percent in that situation. Well, it's kind of hard to not hit 60 when they're moving straight backwards on you, right? Oh, but still, no, Venker. I did not even take it away from him. Like, I kind of just did there. He was hitting a lot of great LG shots there. Definitely have to give him credit for that. And especially, more importantly, getting Garpy caught in positions where the LG is just going to absolutely demolish him, just like we're seeing the other way around now. Venger has no chance with only the machine gun as he gets caught off trying to go towards Mega. I just don't know what Venger's doing. Every time he play, he's picked Visor, he's just... I, yeah, thrown it I, away. I have no explanation. It's completely thrown it away. He's, he's making moves that do not make sense. His awareness seems to go out the window when it's meant to, like, be better. Is he going in for again? Venger, you've just got on the heavy. You can slowly stack up if you give yourself a little bit of time. Don't rush into it like a madman. Rockets. Oh my god, he manages to hit those directs at the end. Garpy feeling like he had things secured. But it was not the case. Uh oh. Fisty Cuffs might be coming out. I'm almost expecting Garpy to go for the chase with Berserk. He's being very mindful of those rockets, though. He knows Garpy, he's stuck. Please. You're in a small room please. right now. <laughs> Berserk. Please. Oh. Okay, well, whatever. He's gonna see him over towards rockets. He knows he has no health, though. He's not gonna. This is what I kind of like out of Garpy, though. He realizes he could have got in and probably punched him to death easily since he had no health. But he kept his composure, realizing, all right, items are coming up. I need to make sure to secure them. I want to have every advantage I can possibly have into this next fight. And there you go. He does clean it up, does get another frag. With Venger at the end, he pretty much knew he was going to die, but at least he got 75 damage out, which gets rid of some of the overstack uh, that Garpy was running, at least uh, on the health side. He might be able to contest now for this Mega if he's keeping a track of the timing. Double LG. This is dangerous for Garpy, but he just about survives. He had to endure a lot in that fight.
Prepare to he's fight. on match point. Could Garpy put Vengur aside well, and carve his way out towards the finals? Three, this two, would be uh, one, unexpected. Fight. Would be fitting for him beating the back to back, well, not even the back to back, the rank ones in the world in duel in his round of 16, then quarterfinals to win the whole thing. Would definitely be fitting for this man after the work he's been able to put in it's, so far these last couple of yeah. weeks. It's been crazy. I, I think Van Gogh in his own right is kind of like around top five or top six in Europe. So he's been doing a very, very good job. Garpy though backs out. I just no more rockets. Can get himself up. With Dreamhack Tours coming up in less than a week. Like, if Garpy could potentially win this whole thing, just imagine, or even for Vengur, imagine, like, the kind of uh, momentum it gives you going into that tournament. Yeah. Even, even though it's two people, this is dual, like, still to come off the back of a big win would be major. Yeah, it still it helps the confidence completely going in. I think Garpy you know, drives off on the oh. Conf oh my Edward. god, the rocket! Wow, that just threw him totally off the edge. I'm going to switch over to Vengur's point of view now. Got to see what he's able to do with this newfound control that he has. Oh, the totem. Gonna have to get rid of that in the moment, but LG, Garpy stands out a little bit. Vengo looking for any extra damage he can get. Garpy, oh my god, he's gonna get chased to the floor. Vengo is mad after everything that's been happening in this series. He's not out of the running just yet. I, I felt like he's been a a little bit lackluster compared to what I was expecting in the semi-finals. But this is, uh... Oh, he's, he's, he's breathing new air in the semi -finals. But LG, can heartbeat. he close it out? Yeah. Ouch. He had Mega and he had Heavy. There's no way Garpy's gonna win that fight in a straight head-to-head -head LG. To fight. So now the final round here. Can Vanguard take it, or Vanguard? Vanguard take it to a third map? Or will we be having Garpy move on two, into the grand finals one, against Kilson? Fight. So it's down to this one. I'm on a Venga to start with. Oh, he's missing his jump over. And uh, I think that's actually annoyed him quite a lot. So he's going to divert over to Nailgun. No, he's not. He's going to divert to the start. There we go. Done. This is actually really annoying for Venga because having those rockets early on, you can kind of like push yourself around in position. He does manage to get it within 30 seconds. So it's not, it's not the end of the world. And this is good weapon switches from him. He's got about 80, 85 damage there. And now with LG, he feels uh, a bit more comfortable. He hasn't gone towards uh, Nailgun Room, though, for the Hourglasses. So he's actually behind in Pierce's sight, which is allowing Garpy to go for this engagement right now. Eight seconds to go in his own piercing. He's going to rocket jump up. He wants to fight right away, and he doesn't have that much HP to work with, but still trying to force the fight nonetheless. That was a bit over aggressive from uh, Venger then. Uh, press into Garpy. Looks for a rocket shot, but he's going to have to get that Mega uh, and escape. And also, watch out on that LG room. He doesn't want to get caught uh, off guard, where he can't really like escape anywhere, especially as a visor. Garpy's got piercing sight. I think he might be using it now. Uh oh. Oh, almost thrown out of the window. 46 health. And three seconds until the Mega. There's no chance. Sharpie's going to take it. And Venga again is on uh, that support here. Oh Ooh, no, he rocketed himself. Off. That's, that's going to be it. He knows he's, he's dead here. <laughs> Just trying to get some sort of damage. Sharpie. I mean, uh, it's looking good for Garpy at the moment. Keeping that visor alive. Got a good rotation. Getting a kill just before the item spawn. He might even be able to do some damage towards Mega. Venga doesn't drop for it. He's looking for LG damage. Garpy retains full control. He's got all the weaponry he needs to. I think he's missing his tribal. Ooh. Spot Venga up below. LG comes out. He definitely has the health advantage. He's also got the positional advantage. Venger is in a rough spot here, but luckily for him, 
Garpy doesn't go for the chase immediately. Heavy gonna be secured for Garpy in the midst of this. And Vanguard is so low on life. Vanguard, you can't afford to lose another champion here. You'd be down to your last one for your survival of this entire tournament. He still has no health left. Garpy's going for the chase with Piercy Sight. Just takes one more tick. And just like that, Garpy's one champion away, or two minutes away, from meeting Kilson. Oh no, he has, he has a spot. Oh no, he's got health bubble.